Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Selly. Welcome back to season four of Sundays with Selly. Thank you guys for tuning in. We are going to kick off this season full speed ahead. While we were down in Lauderdale, I was able to get on board with Avicus and their autonomous boating system. So guess what, guys? We got out, we got on the sea trial, found them here at the show and got to get together with their team leader and discuss just exactly what is their system, how long they've been at it, and you know what the future holds for it. I think it's some really cool stuff. So without further ado, guys, we're going to cut to that video and talk everything that's going on there with Avicus and their autonomous boating. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? It is Selly. We are at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show and I got a chance to experience something incredible, guys. I got to go on level two autonomy on a boat from these guys right here. So we found their booth at the show here and let's talk a little bit about what is Abacus, what are you guys doing, how long have you been around and who you are. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. Uh, I'm Dae Yong Han from the Abacus. I'm in charge of the company vision team now and all of our system is based on AI technology and some things is computer vision system. And our aim is give our experience to user very similar with the experience that we already in vehicle system as a Tesla. So now you can see it here. This one is a basic test following system. It is very common thing in the autopilot unit but more than that, we have one more thing. Uh, appreciate that this one is uh, just in demo mode, screen, obviously. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> okay. So because that this is a 3D SVM, let's go into the 3D SVM first. This one is very similar thing in the vehicle system, as you know, around the monitoring system. And this one is consists of four cameras of this. Okay. Okay. So we have yeah. four cameras, and we're stitching those to get our around view here, yeah, right? Yeah, but not just teaching because that we assume that some kind of drone is fly over Earth, so we calculate the oh, okay, what you'll be from there. Got so it. Okay. Different. Yes. Okay. Yes. Got it. Yes. And uh, this color, red color and orange color, the dot yep. indicate that it is calculated from this lidar. So we're doing lidar. So yeah. now we've got we can tell distance. That's right. And uh, actually, it is more intuitive view means that something is there or in front, uh, in backward. Oh, OK. Yes. It indicates that this pie. OK. OK. Yes. But as you can see in the 3D SVM, it could be a little bit redundant information, mm -hmm. but it can give you more intuitive information to the user. Got it. OK. And Got this it. one will be the, our navigating assistant system. NAS. As you can see here, this white colored triangle means yep. that our NAS camera detects something. We detect and recognize what it is. We have actually seven classes, okay. like Tesla, as right. you know. The automated Tesla levels, has right? Tesla human and te even Tesla dog. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> we don't have a dog, but we are trying to detect the birds. But right, right. We just have seven classes in there. Okay. We have a rowing board and just key. All so it can, it can see all of these things yes. and then classify them. That's right. But for simplification, we all of this information to the simple one. Got it. As you can see here, wait a second, please. <laughs> OK, <laughs> sorry. This triangle means that something is detected. And OK, let's begin. OK, let's move on from here. You can see yeah. the LiDAR is now picking up and giving yeah. us a distance. Even the channel marker we can detect it and we can estimate the accurate distance from our ship. Okay? And the tolerance level will be just two centimeters by this LiDAR. Okay? Awesome. And all of this thing is runtime system. Yep. And all of our system or our devices is a kind of a simple application. Smartphone application. Got and it. So, so you can do it from an App. Yes, that's right. So you can see our solution any of your mobile devices. Okay, and that okay. to do that, we just need basically these three devices here to do the docking and for the autonomy that's and all right. of that, right? With the cameras. Yeah, and the cameras. Yes. Cameras, lidar, and a couple of modules, and, and now some cable. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple of power cables, yeah. some data. Yeah, yeah. And but a very simplified system. That's right. And you guys. How long have you guys been doing this? 
about one year and a half. Ago. And you guys did a, a, a big boat, right? Like an LNG or something? That's right, because the we are subsidiary from HHI. Okay. HHI is a Hyundai heavy industry. Yep. As you know, Hyundai also makes some vehicle. Yes. <laughs> but Hyundai, actually, Hyundai heavy industry is a global number one shipbuilder for now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, for large size. For the big area. commercial. Yes. Big commercial guys. Yeah, so they are expert in controlling the vessel. Okay. But they were not in the expertise of the company vision. Yeah. But our advocates, new team yep actually like company is the group of the computer vision and all of the ai system experts okay so we made this kind of solution just for one and a half years wow and you guys have crossed oceans with this now right that's right so it's been tested even though it's a year guys this stuff is rapidly growing yes. and uh like i said guys i went on it i had a great experience on board the the docking experience was very smooth and it was very seamless very easy to use with a couple pushes of a button you came in you painted a picture of the dock with the lidar yeah, and said bow in or stern in and away you go mm -hmm. it was a very very awesome and that's why i wanted to showcase that as we start off season four of sundays with Sally. that's why i wanted to show this is the kickoff here guys this is something i think we're going to see a lot more of i think this is going to be a scalable product and i'm hoping to be able to do something with you guys in the future and be yeah. able to bring this more mainstream for you guys so yeah. actually we are collaborating or keep discussing yep. with the Navico or Asimai, that kind of NFT yep in some day so you, you can, be... can see our solution in your display that's awesome okay well listen thank you very much for your time thank you all right yes thanks guys bye